What is up you guys, it's your boy HustDuchess96, welcome back to the Horse Code HD, I am back with another video, today we're going to be doing a part time of the story time of the Horse Code HD story time, now this is about my friend that you guys have heard from my first part of the story, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what's going to happen in the story, so roll the intro. Now, to let you guys know, this is going to be another part time of the story, so I'm going to go ahead and get into that for y'all. Now, real quick, I'm going to set up, make sure everything is ready. Now, uh, okay, right now, it is actually 8.09 right now. We're going to be having that storm, so uh, I'm not going to be able to go to work tomorrow because I'm probably going to be staying home <laughs> for a day because I am not going to risk my life out there in that road. So. But anyways, guys, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure y'all like, comment, and or subscribe to the channel of the Horse Squad HD. Make sure y'all turn on that notification bell besides the word subscribe to be notified of new content I will be posting. And a shout out to Skitso the Third. Thank you, man, for getting the t-shirt. I saw the post on, your, uh, on Instagram. Thank you very much for your support on our channel. And to those who've been a part of our channel since 2018, thank you guys seriously for being a part of this channel. And we're on a road to 300 subscribers. Make sure y'all continue to like our content and continue to subscribe and help us reach our goal to 300 subscribers. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the story. I just got home, so got comfortable. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tell the story. Okay, this is part two of the story, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. Now, so far we were we left off where it was, I believe it's 2014. So, 2014 was not really a good year for me and my for me because I ended up losing my friend in high school and it wasn't it wasn't really good at all. So, I had I had the hardest time trying to get over my friend's uh, passing. And it was it was a really hard year for me so and uh, if you guys don't know I happened to use my phone flashlight because the synthetic lighting in my uh, room right now is a little different okay I'm back y'all sorry had to go make sure the uh, video was record because I'm actually uploading um, the Guardians of the Galaxy, if you guys don't remember seeing that video, I had to delete that footage because I had the edit version already uploaded, so you'll see that uh, later on. So, back to what I was talking about. Well, yeah, um, his death was, it was kind of hard for me because I had to go through it a lot. I don't think she really... I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think she really cared much for him about his death. She cared more. She only cared about what she wanted. And the reason why I don't talk to her as much is because she. She blocked me because I caught her cheating again. And the reason why, when I catch, when, when first thing is. This is something I don't understand about people. Why would you block people when you know you just got caught? So you have no right to get mad at the person. You need to be mad at yourself. And the problem is most times people don't seem to see that. Because you see she's smart about it. She's going to get attention out of it. Because it's going to be a story that's going to keep circulating circulating for years. I'm not saying her feelings was valid, but what I am trying to say is, is that she got caught in a very, very bad way. She tried to have the receipts to back up her story for, for, uh, for people calling her out on because now she's got herself looking real dumb. And I ain't done shit to her. Hell, all I've ever did was be the friend that I could for her. So, for my surprise, I go on Facebook the day after I have um, I, I, after I have found out that she was cheating, just to check on her to see how she's doing. I said, "Wait a minute! 
did this girl block me? Like, I'm for real. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm too confused. Like, why would she even block me? What the shit did I do to her? But you see, I, I, I don't care. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if this is not me sitting here trying to tell her about herself, she flat out did the wrong way. You're seriously gonna sit here and play these little childish games? You're gonna block me like not, not even a single attempt of a tear. That's how dry. That's how my. That's how dry my eye was. Not not even a single attempt of a tear to fall out. Because one thing is, the girl got issues, and my teachers they've been trying to tell her for the longest that you need to stop all this dating. And she gets a little attitude when she knows she's getting told about herself. And she she calls my teachers names and all that stuff. I said, that's basically your fault, not ours. You did what you knew you were not supposed to do. So now you're going to have to pay for your consequences. And at the same time, we, the, the last time I spoke to her was 2018. So that was four years ago. You know, I will say this. The hardest thing for me, actually, was getting rid of the people that I wanted to do as friends in my life, in the past. Because they, 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 they weren't meant to be my friends. I mean, I still have, I have, I still got good people in my life. I still got my friend Steven Zobo. He's, he actually lives just down the road. He actually lives just not down the road from me. So I'm not telling you where he lives. I'm not telling you what the street is. Um, shout out to him. Shout out to Adam Brentley. He and I are still friends. We still talk. We talk every now and then. Um, shout out to Trini. Shout out to um, who else? Who do I still talk to the most? Shout out to Dark Nikolai 666, my friend Nicholas Lederfine. He's he's my true friend. He's my true bro, and I totally appreciate him in my life because through my hardest times, I was struggling. But I will tell you all another story next time about how me and my friend got this game and chill story. <laughs> so I will tell you all in the next video because you guys are gonna really enjoy the story time of how me and him start this gaming channel in 2018 because I'm not going to um, what's the word I'm not going to go further about his relationship because that's not my business to know because that's that's his that that's his business so all I can say was it just didn't work out that's all I can say it, it, it didn't work out it, you know, it's just life, you know, so it's life, and when things don't go well, you go your separate ways, so that's all I can say really about that, so, but that will be for the next video, so I will have this video, um, finished, and I will have that edited and ready for the next time I upload it, so, but yeah, back to what I was saying, <clears throat> it was, it was pretty hard for me, you know, and at the same time, I just didn't think, I just didn't think I was ever gonna trust her again because the hardest thing about trusting someone is that they will sit here and you giggle behind your back. And there are times, there are times for me, um, Yes, I, I, yes, there will be times I, I will make mistakes. I made mistakes in my life, and trust me, it was, it was, I had the consequences for me, for, for my actions was punishment, and yeah, I had to learn the hard way, because the only person that I love dearly the most is my friends, my family, which is my mother and my sister, those are my only, my only family, and I will cherish them 
with all my life. So I will never trade anyone else again. I will never trade for anybody else. But yeah, after that, we hadn't spoke. Me and her hadn't spoken for four years, and I think the reason why she she has her own problems that she has to focus on and get herself together because I don't I don't have I don't have drama. Like one of my coworkers said, he said, "Man, you must be having you must be beefing with her." I said, "Man, please." I said, you think I got? I'm I'm too young for that. I'm getting too old for that stuff. I got it. I got a YouTube career that I'm working on. I got a full-time job. I got friends. I got family. I got a great life ahead of me. You think I got time for people to be beefing with? Child, bye. <laughs> it would never phase me, okay? Because for me, what I say is right is right, wrong is wrong. What she did was wrong, and I was the one that was in the right because she knew she was wrong for what she did. And I said, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta have to face your own problems. And I think we stopped talking to her so much, and it's like trusting her was hard. And I was the one having the hardest time uh, uh, trusting her, learning y'all. Oof. Water good. <laughs> this is my water, y'all. So I had to drink a lot of water. Because right now I'm trying to like stay off the sodas for a while. Because my health is kind of out of control right now. I'm pretty diabetic, so I'm trying to get my health together and everything. So that's kind of a hard. That's 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 really hard to work on. But I'm gonna talk. About, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna tell, talk to y'all about that next time. I'm gonna post that on Instagram. So. Yeah, I'm gonna work on that soon, so yeah. But before I go, I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened for the first time in years. Four years later, I ran into her at the store. This girl has changed and it is it's not pretty. And I was like, you know what? Most times, girls who live that life needs to learn that. Just, just stick to one person, okay? Stop sitting here thinking that a man is not good enough for you when you're not good enough for him because you're making the worst mistakes. You're making the decision to either cheat or dump the person simply because they're doing good by you. There are this there are good men out there. There are some that are good out there. Yes, there are some that will cheat. But my biggest advice about this is girls don't don't take advantage of your boyfriends. Guys, don't take advantage of your girlfriends. Just just be happy with the person you have and spend that quality time with that person because girls you're gonna understand this you have got to learn to just love not just go not go and just sleep with this man then go sleep with that man then go sleep with that man that's not how it works that's not how relationship works. You are just choose the man that you want to be with. And if he's faithful enough, then you will have that chance to be with him. But you got to both focus on getting yourself together before you sit up there and go date somebody. And because one thing is, what if that person don't want you? That defeats the purpose. So my best advice to all you guys is just Just be faithful, stay true, and live your best life. But that's something I want you guys to remember. It's just be yourself. Don't even listen to what anybody says about you because half of them people are crazy. <laughs> but the moral of the story is don't cheat. Because if you cheat, 
karma is going to bite you back. And that's one thing you don't want. So, but all right, guys, this is the end of the story time. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this story time for the part two. Even though I wasn't able to put the whole clip together into one because I was, because I, I had a crazy week at work. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to check out the latest content I posted, all of the content I'm posted right now is going to be in a playlist. There'll be a playlist of this, and I'll make another playlist. Well, actually, it's going to have the first story time, and then the second story time of the first one I did uh, two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. So, yeah, check that out, guys. And I hope you guys stay safe, and y'all have a good night, and y'all stay safe. Please, this weather right now is getting bad, so to all those who are out there, make sure y'all have plenty of water make sure you have your candles make sure you have plenty of food make sure you have blankets cover your windows make sure you have everything guys because this storm is getting ready to come in and it ain't gonna be pretty and i'll probably be home for a day so <laughs> we'll see but anyways guys y'all have a good night and y'all stay safe and hope to see you soon